Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here. I want to show you what I'm working on with the DMX Operator 384. The DMX Operator 384 is a hybrid DMX slash MIDI control board. Now, let me give you a couple, uh, a little bit of an insight into the DMX Operator, and then I'm going to show you the default mapper that I'm making for Grand VJ. First of all, in MIDI mode, not every button works yet. Maybe there'll be a firmware update, but for now, let's go ahead and focus on what does work. These buttons here, fixtures, and your faders, and your scenes, all work, but they're also mapped to this scene bank, right? So right now we are on page one. So this is one through 12, and then we have one through eight, but this individual one through eight also has a second page. So now it's one through eight and then nine through 16. Same thing, nine through 16. Let's go back, bring this to the first page. When I go here, page two, now this is uh, 13 through 24. And this is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then 25, and so forth. Page 3, and then we go from there. These don't work. This is not active. This is not active. These do work, but they're not assigned to the page, which is good for the mapping that I made. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So the chases 1 through 12 work. This guy right here, MIDI, allows us to go into different channels. So right now, if I go into here all these outputs starting on channel one. Now this is really cool because what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna show you in another video how to use this to control your DMX software and Arceus on the same computer. So I'm gonna map Arceus to channel one, and then if I wanna control, let's say my DMX, I go here into channel two, and then I can attach these to control different functions of my DMX, but without it affecting Arceus. If I wanted to go back to control Arceus, I go back here to channel one, and then it controls Arceus without messing with my DMX. Hopefully you got that so far. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I've done here. On the default mapper for the DMX Operator 384, I have made a matrix that is six, cell wide, six cells wide, four high. If you want to change it, you'll have to manually map it yourself, which is very easy. Why did I make it six by four? Well, because this right here is layers one through six, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And right now it's just set on this individual one. Now this currently does not have two-way MIDI enabled. That's why all these are lit on. But you'll see that as, as I deselect these, it does not reselect it again. It still stays on the same fader or program which is there. So that's kind of nice. So right now when I select the scene, I just double click it. Okay, you can see how it selects that. So, that's there, 1 through 12. For the other 12, we're going to go to page 2, and you'll see that they are being selected right there. Now, I'm on the second page, so these faders will not work. For the faders to work, we want to go back to page 1. And now you'll see that the faders select it right there. Super easy, okay? And page two again, they do not work. I'm gonna real quick show you if you want to MIDI map and change something yourself, how easy it is. So I'm gonna leave this on page two, and then we're going to go into our options and then set MIDI mapping. And you see these little X's? I'm gonna click the X, which is the kill layer. I'm gonna click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just shut it off and it automatically saved it. So here's how it works. When you go to page one, you can select your faders. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna load this guy right here. That's on page two. So we're gonna go to page two and we are going to load, there it is, the second one there. And it's loaded to the very bottom layer, okay? To select that layer, I'm going to go back to page one, and I'm going to move this fader up and down, and there it is right there. Now, let's say I want to load something to my topmost layer. So again, I got to make sure I'm on page one, and I'm going to select my topmost layer, and I'm going to select a scene, or a cell, excuse me. I'm going to bring it up. There it is right there. Now, of course, I can change it if I want to. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one down. And now I'm going to select my second row. 
So there's my second row. I'm going to select a cell. And there it is right there. So now I can control different ones. Let's say I want to dump or kill. That means that I'm going to click this little X to delete that. I map this X to page 2. So watch this here. We got this guy right here. I'm going to go to page 2. And then I'm going to select the kill because now this is a kill switch instead of select. And it killed it so now it dumped whatever scene I had on there. So if I want to go to page 2 again, I'm going to go and delete these two right there. Now we're starting over. Now I select page 1 or my uh, first uh, layer. And I'm going to go to my page 2 because I want to select uh, the very last scene. There it is right there. I go to page 1. Bring it up right there. Super easy. So again, that's a DMX operator 384 with RKS Grand VJ. We're going to do this so it's plug and play. You can use it exactly how I showed you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Obviously, as they continuously update and add things to this, we'll update it to Grand VJ. So it's only going to get better and better each time. But the beauty is that you have eight individual faders. So it's perfect for Grand VJ, especially in mixer mode. Um, I will, you know, I'm going to ask about making maybe one of these MIDI so we can use one of these as a crossfader, which would be really cool. Maybe even as a master speed or something. But again, that's all in due time. But the great thing is the DMX operator is super affordable. So you can have a controller for a Grand VJ for next to nothing. Watch the next video and I'm going to show you how you can use this and my DMX or another DJ software, or, excuse me, DMX software at the same time.